Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this information session for our online master in football business and management. It's a great pleasure to have all of you connecting here tonight. Um, my name is Diego Valdez. I'm the director at the Sports Business Institute Barcelona. And just a little bit, I'll tell you a little bit more about myself and what we do at SBI Barcelona. But before we get started, I just want to let you know that uh, this webinar should last approximately 45 minutes. Um, then we will open it up for some questions and um, probably in about an hour we will wrap things up, maybe a little bit later, depending on how many questions we may have. But um, just to give you a bit of a background as to how we're going to structure the webinar and how long it's going to last. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, my name, Diego, Diego Valdez. I'm the director at the Sports Business Institute Barcelona. And uh, what we do is we provide executive education for those that want to either start or advance a career in the business side of football. Uh, at SBI, we've been operating for over nine years now. And in that time, we've been able to work with some of the top organizations in football. You see there um, the list of a few of them. So we've been very fortunate to have uh, the trust of the football industry and many of the executives that work for these organizations that have come and done programs for us. And as far as my background is concerned, well, I originally started in uh, the corporate world. I come from uh, the business sector, particularly corporate training. And then my career eventually took me down the path of football and sports. And here I am today as the director and uh, managing, um, uh, yeah, managing director at uh, the Sports Business Institute Barcelona. Um, we have an office here in Barcelona. It is uh, located opposite the Camp Nou. So if you are ever in Barcelona, which we hope to see you here very soon, uh, whether you're doing the masters or just visiting the city, um, it would be great uh, if you wanted to pop by and let us know. We are always open to um, networking, connecting with people that are either in the industry or want to get in the industry. So our offices are have an open door policy for anybody that wants to come and set up an appointment with us here in, in Barcelona. That said, um, I'm interested to hear more about you guys as well. And what I'd ask you to do is in the chat, there's a chat box in the bottom right hand corner. I'd like you to tell me where you're connecting from. So the city, the country where you're connecting from, we always like to do this because we find out where people are coming from to attend these sessions, these webinars. Um, so it's nice to see that uh, people tell us where they're, where they're connecting from. So in the chat box, just tell us the country where you're connecting from. I see Roy, Roy is here from Jamaica. Roy is actually already registered for the masters. So Roy, great to see you. Jack Simmons from Peterborough. Hi, Jack, nice to see you. Um, Port Elizabeth, South Africa says Dario. Trinidad and Tobago, um, and then Daniele from Modena. Daniele also from uh, the master, he's already enrolled. So Daniele, always great to, to chat with you as well. Mark from London, Chris from Cork. Um, okay, nice, so Cork, Ireland. Mustafa from Gambia. Hi Mustafa, nice to see you here tonight. Excellent. So I'm gonna wait and see if there's a couple more people that, um, that put down uh, where they were connecting from. I missed, just it was going by very quickly from Trinidad and Tobago, we had somebody. Um, Alba from Lleida, hola Alba, Alba, sorry, nice to see you. And um, from Trinidad and Tobago, I missed the name because it went by very quickly, but um, if you want to put your name again from TNT, Luca, okay, uh, Jaroslav from Poland, um, Gracia, okay, Gracia, there we go, Gracia from TNT, nice, okay, perfect. So I hope I didn't miss anybody. There's um, there's a few people here, and, and there's more connecting as we speak when uh, you know we get underway. So um, it's nice to see everybody. Alfredo as well. Alfredo is a is a student who just graduated from the master. So Alfredo, nice to see you here as well. Um, and um, the point of this um, virtual information session is to obviously tell you about the master that's starting next uh, next month on October eighteenth. But I felt it was important to also discuss um, what it takes to have success in the football industry. As I said, I've been operating in this industry for over nine years now. 
And I've worked with a lot of people that have done the masters that have done other courses with us. And we've been, like I said, we've had um, a lot of success from our students that go on to have, um, you know, careers in football or develop themselves if they're already in the industry. And for us, that's, that's a big validation. Um, but going back to my initial point, um, in this time frame, we've seen the success, the success patterns and we've seen what works. And that's the reason why we designed this master, because we looked at what um, students wanted, what they needed in order to get ahead. And that's how we structured and, and designed this program to provide the most value. And each year we look to improve, we look to add more and more value so that the students of this master continue to have success um, and, uh, you know, are, are um, having, um, you know, important trajectories in the football industry. So what are those patterns? What are those uh, success elements that we've identified? And I wanted to go through them because I think it's important to understand them. And then we're going to talk about the masters. And at the end, I'm really interested to hear about your aspirations and, you know, why you want to work in the industry and, you know, what, um, what are your, um, what are you looking for to see if perhaps this is, this is something that might fit what is, um, you know, what is right for you. I just saw that Alex, Alex Denny from Manchester is here as well. Alex is also doing the course. He's already enrolled. So Alex, nice to see you. Um, right. So keys to having success in the football industry. So I always like to say that there's four areas, four areas that you should be optimizing. Um, if you want to have success in the football industry, and I'll talk about those in just a minute. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you again in the chat box, and I want you to tell me if either A, you're already working in the football industry, B, you're looking to get into the football industry, or C, um, I know we work with a lot of professional football players, so there, there's a few of them that are on the course. Um, if you're a footballer, if you're, you know, um, working as a professional footballer, that would be nice to hear from you as well. I know Alex, of course, is a, is a professional footballer, but there's a few others. Roy, working in the industry, okay. Yes, Roy, um, I know you're with the Jamaican Federation, so great to, to see that uh, you're telling us about that. Jack is looking to start. Daniela is already in the industry. Dario, I missed Dario, sorry. Oops, okay. So Arseni says B, right. Um, a few of them went a little bit faster, but I'll try and go back here in the chat. Um, pro footballer, Alex uh, wants to get into the business side. Alba looking to get into the industry. Okay, right. So we have a mix. We have people that are already working in football and want to continue to develop themselves to move into more of uh, leadership roles in whether it's in their organizations or in other, other organizations in football. And we also have people that want to start a career that are looking to get into the industry, whether they're, whether they're just recently graduating or beginning their career or maybe moving or transitioning from another sector. So regardless of what your situation is, um, the master that we've designed um, is aimed at all of the different types of profiles and backgrounds. And I'll tell you why in just a moment um, and why we designed it this way. Um, but I want to go back to the keys to having success. So if you want to either start or further develop your career in the football industry, four areas that you should be looking to optimize. And I'll start with number one. Number one is you need to have a deep, relevant, updated knowledge and understanding of what's happening in the industry today. Why? We have all seen it in the past year and a half. Football has evolved so much. Um, new competitions are, are arising. Uh, we saw the Super League. We saw so many agreements. We saw um, different um, technological advances that are impacting the industry. And if you don't have that knowledge, if you're not updated on that, uh, on those different elements, you're going to stay behind. And what happens when you stay behind in an industry, you become less competitive with others that do have that knowledge. So that's the first thing that you really need to look at upskilling yourselves in having a deep understanding of how the industry works and preferably by people that, you know, know about it and understand it and are working in it. So that's the first thing that I would say that if you want to either start or advance a career in football, you should be looking to level up on 
the knowledge, the understanding of the updated, relevant, um, you know, content, knowledge, information about the industry. Number one. Number two, very important, and you guys all know this, network, connections, relationships. Why? Because like in any sector, and particularly in football, and especially at the highest level when there's a lot of money involved, um, it's about relationships, it's about trust, it's about knowing people, adding value. And if you don't have a network or if you are looking to build one, um, that's something that I would strongly, strongly advise you to definitely keep working on every day. Build relationships, add value, because if you don't have a network, you're going to be, again, in a disadvantageous position. Um, so that's another element that I would say that it's very important for you to, to start optimizing, building the relationships and building them in the right way. Okay. And we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later on, but network fact about the football industry, especially for those younger people or those people that are transitioning from other sectors into football. Jobs in football are not made public very often. This is changing and more and more we see clubs and organizations, you know, put up jobs on LinkedIn or on job posts, but traditionally and still very much. So, um, there's not a lot of jobs publicized in the football industry. So what does that tell you that it's about the people that, you know, it's about the relationships that you build many times people get into roles, into jobs because of connections, because of relationships, because of the way they've nurtured, um, yeah, a contact that eventually opens up a door that allows them to get into the football industry or move it, move up the ladder in the football industry. So that's very important. Having a strong network, building a strong network. That's number two. Number three, having someone or a team can advise you. Uh, and this is not very easy to do. I mean, and what I mean is a mentor. Um, Maybe some of you have tried to, um, you know, go out and talk to people and ask for advice. And you probably came across that, um, you know, it's, it's hard, it's hard to find someone that is going to give you the keys to success. And is going to take the time to do this for you because people are busy and especially if they don't know you, you know, unless they have a very, very giving and open personality and heart, um, you know, it's, it's very difficult to find uh, someone to mentor you, but if you can. And if you have somebody in the industry that can guide you, that can help you, that would be something that, again, you should be looking to try and, and, and find because number one, they're going to give you advice that is relevant. Um, number two, and this is very important. They're going to accelerate and optimize your path. If you speak to someone that provides good advice, that provides good direction and clarity as to where you want to go, you know, you skip a lot of the hurdles. And believe me, I can tell you from personal experience in, in the beginning of my career, I didn't have mentors and, you know, you never have a straight line because you never do obviously, but, um, but you try to have as much of an optimized path when you have advice from people that can give you the right guidance. And if you have that, you know, you have a lot, a lot gained already. So that's number three. And then number four, experience, experience. Um, the more experience you can get, the more you can add on your CV, the more qualification, the more relevance you're going to have on your profile and also the confidence that you're going to build whenever you have conversations with decision makers to say that, okay, this is something, um, you know, that I feel comfortable in and I know I can add value in the industry. So I wanted to recap that because again, when we were designing this course, we were looking at what students needed and I, I'll tell you about my story a little bit later on, uh, because it ties into all of this. Um, but at the end of the day, we said, if that's what people need, if they need relevant, up-to-date knowledge, if they need to build a network, if they need to have the right guidance and support, and they need to build on an experience, let's create a program. Let's do a program that is going to optimize that for them. And that's what we've done with our master here at SBI. It's an online master. It's a flexible um, learning opportunity that allows you to connect with people from around the world, but it's live, much like we're doing the session here live. We have this platform for the sessions. And although you can't unmute your button, your microphones tonight, because it's, it's a webinar, it's meant for you guys to be 
just as attendees. In the actual lessons, everybody has their mute microphones unmuted and we have discussions. We have, it's as if you're in a live classroom. The only difference is we have people in Brussels, Barcelona, Brazil, China, you know, Africa, wherever. We have people from all over the world and connecting and having a classroom setting. Again, the only difference is we have a computer screen instead of having a, a, an actual physical classroom. So um, that's um, where this all began and how this program was designed. So let's start um, giving you the details about this program so you understand um, you know, how, how it works. And especially for those that have already signed up and are registered, give you a little bit more detail, but you guys will be receiving additional information after this session, of course, with all the pertaining details for, for the course. So, um, first thing that we wanted to do is equip you with the right skills and competencies. Um, <clears throat> so we designed a curriculum that was relevant and it was football industry oriented. Um, so every single module in this course is around the football industry delivered by experts that are working in the industry today. And each year we update the content. In fact, this month, our team is working hard to update the material so that you guys have the most updated and relevant information possible. You see, for example, there, um, one of the bullet bullet points, um, blockchain fan tokens, uh, new partnership initiatives. This is something we've just recently added because of course, some of you probably have heard this is huge. This is blowing up platforms and companies and apps such as socios.com um, with fan tokens, with opportunities to you know add more business revenue for clubs and opportunities for fans to engage with their clubs. So all this to say that each year we update the content and we provide you a curriculum that is gonna prepare you in the best possible way to have the most updated knowledge on what's happening in the industry today. Why? Again, because you wanna be competitive as a professional. When you have opportunities to apply for jobs, connect with people, you wanna have the most information um, in order to be um, you know, prepared so um, that's the main thing that we wanted to do, create a curriculum. So as you see, it's you know, around the business of football across a number of areas. So whether it's marketing or sponsorship or commercial disruption, in other words, what's happening in the industry today that is disrupting the industry. Um, again, as I said, technology with blockchain and fan tokens, operations, so how do events work, financial management, um, all of this is, you know, material that we cover and we've divided it into three terms. So the first term starts in October and runs until the end of December. The second term, which you see here runs from January up until around mid March. And then the third term, um, runs from, um, March until the end of May, beginning of June. So just to go back to term two, a lot of digital, a lot of fan engagement communications. Um, again, keeping you up to date and keeping you abreast of the latest trends, information that you need to know to be prepared. And then term three is more around um, athlete performance, athlete management. We have a section on the role of the sporting director. We have sports law, leadership. So sometimes, um, you know, um, it's important to understand, um, you know, all the areas of football even though you may say, well, I, I'm not interested in the role of sporting director. I'm more interested in a commercial role or a marketing role or a digital role. That's absolutely fine. But at the end of the day, when you are working at a football club or at an organization, you're going to have to interact with people in other areas. And it's important that you understand their priorities, their responsibilities. And that's why we've created a curriculum that allows you to understand all of the business of football. Excuse me. Just needed a little bit of water. Um, and likewise, as I said, there's already people that are working in football and many in, in the performance side. We have, as I mentioned, a few players that are already registered for the course. Um, so players obviously know all about the performance side, but they want to know more about the business, the leadership, the management side that will complement their background and their and their profile. So irrespective of what your situation is, and then if you're if you're just starting out. You want to be a sponge. You want to know about everything. You want to take notes. You want to understand all the areas so that you then understand where, where best to focus your career path. And you want to focus your career path on 
you know, areas that you're obviously passionate about, but that also cater to your strengths and then add value to the market. So if you understand the industry as a whole, and that's why the curriculum was designed to look at all the areas of football, then you're prepared and you're ready, whether you want to start a, a pathway in one area or another. And many students, they begin with an aspiration and say, well, I want to work in this area. Or this is what I'd like to do. And then as the course moves on and they begin to work with their mentors and they begin to understand the industry, many times they pivot and they shift and they say, no, actually, I want to work here because I have more experience and I'm, and I'm able to do more and it interests me more. So all this to say that as you begin the program, um, you, you start a transformation really, and you begin understanding the industry in a way that you've never seen it before that allows you to, you know, have a more clear pathway as to where you want to go. So that's the curriculum. Um, and we wanted it to be taught by the best in the industry. We wanted it to be taught by people taking decisions in football and having this, having experience working inside clubs, inside federations, inside marketing, um, sports marketing firms, inside sports law firms, inside, you know, um, media, media rights companies, inside digital agencies. So all the people that we've brought in as the faculty for this master have experience in football um, in one way or another. So here you see, for example, Richard Lamb. Richard Lamb is actually going to be an academic coordinator. We're going to officially announce that in the coming days, but for you guys that are here, we'll know. Richard Lamb um, has extensive experience. He's been a, a high level executive for clubs like Manchester United, Inter Milan, West Ham, he's also consulted for the NFL. Now he's a sports consultant, sports business consultant, um, and also an academic, and, and he's um, gonna play the role of academic coordinator in this master. So you're gonna have somebody that's gonna be with you every week um, who has you know that type of experience. So as I mentioned before, you know it's, it's not always easy to having access to these types of professionals. So that's what we wanted to bring to you guys in the master. Julie Ferre, another excellent uh, example. He was the head of partnerships, global partnerships at FC Barcelona. So a club like FC Barcelona that you know is massive worldwide, the, the, the person, the professional responsible for all the sponsorships at a global level for the club, gonna be coming in and talking to you. He's also one of the course's mentors. So again, imagine you're gonna be working with a mentor that's worked at the top, top level in football, and that is still a consultant with many football clubs. He also, by the way, worked um, several, several years at AS Monaco. So, you know, very top of the line professionals. Ornella Desiree, working at FIFA, um, one of the top sports lawyers in the world. She works as the head of professional football. <clears throat> she comes and delivers a, a session as well. Marcus Bartosz, um, you know, he worked in... Uh, many um, properties. He's a, he's a media rights expert. Uh, so he's worked with the, the um, I'm, I'm going to say Dutch, but it's not Dutch. It's German Football Federation uh, commercializing their TV rights worldwide. He now commercializes TV rights across a number of territories. So he's going to talk to you about how to structure a TV rights package, how to commercialize it. So you may not end up becoming an, uh, a professional in the TV rights landscape, but it is important that you understand it because a lot of the revenue in football comes from that, um, you know, that side, especially at the top level. So it's important that you understand these issues from the top professional. Steve Antrobus, um, he was the former partnerships manager at uh, Manchester City. Now he's working at socios.com. So he's going to come and give a lesson on fan tokens, on blockchain, <clears throat> and in a way that you understand it, in a way that's in, in, relatable, easy to, to grasp because he's a, he works with this day in, day out. So he comes in, explains it to you guys and, um, you know, an opportunity to, to learn from, from people like that. Rebecca, Rebecca James, she's actually a former student of ours, finished the master last year, communications manager at Arsenal football club. She also talks about her role and how uh, she delivers TV rights in the premier league for a club like Arsenal. Um, again, I won't run through all of these because, you know, it's, it's, um, it's going to take a lot of time, but you see uh, Kyle Kirkels, who works for the Dutch FA on innovation. Carmen Aceves works for Atletico Madrid, for Real Madrid, uh, across a number of campaigns. Um, Franco Costanzo, 
former professional goalkeeper for club like River Plate. Uh, he also played for FC Basel. He's going to talk about the role of the sporting director, uh, about performance in football. Amir Somorji, who's a consultant in finance, he's going to come in and deliver a module on, on football finance. Esther talking about events in UEFA. Matteo talking about how to structure digital campaigns. Um, and then we also have Enrique, Mario. Uh, they work for organizations, sports law firms, um, and, and digital, um, digital agencies. Um, and then Mark Brady as well, uh, who did uh, the course uh, a couple of years ago as well, uh, who worked before with West Brom and um, talks about fan engagement. And these are just a few. We're going to continue to announce and add more and more of them um, because every week you're going to have um, you know, an expert that is going to deliver a session for you. Now, why is this important? Going back to our initial points. Because number one, you're going to get updated, relevant information, knowledge, um, tips, from the people that are working in football. But number two, you're opening up a door of contacts already to a wide network of individuals in the football industry that allows you to you know, begin um, creating those opportunities. Now, um, the way the program works is, <clears throat> it's a very flexible uh, learning style, but it also is, a, we wanted to keep it in a way that remained connected and engaged with everybody. So what do I mean by that? Well. You have an online campus where you have all the resources. You go online, you have presentations, you have videos, you have cases, you have all the training material that you need at your disposal 24 seven. We give you a, a login detail, you log in and you have access throughout the year. Every week, usually on Thursday evenings at 8 PM. So this same time, whether you're connecting in, in another country, this is the time zone. Um, we have the, the lessons usually on Thursdays. Now there's some weeks where we also have Tuesday, where we also have Wednesday sessions. Um, so depending on, on the week, there may be two sessions per week, um, but normally it's one session per week and we try to keep it uh, consistently every Thursday. But there are some weeks where you have some additional sessions on Tuesdays, Wednesdays mainly, um, always at 8 p.m. our time here in Spain, 7 p.m. in the UK. Um, we also have live and interactive lab sessions. So these are sessions where you have um, cases where you discuss. So I mentioned before that it was very interactive and engaging. Um, so the master classes usually what happens is the expert comes, delivers a presentation, and then we have some time for open Q and A. But then the lab sessions, it's opportunities to dive deeper in the cases. So we put you in situations. We provide you case studies. And the idea is that you begin acting as if. We want to prepare you so that when you are in the football industry, you already have those scenarios. You already have been acting. You've been preparing yourself. And best way to prepare yourself is by having these interactive lab sessions where we actually have case studies and we will put you in situations and we, we, have, to, you know, we have to decide what action to take based on a, a particular case. Um, so that's how we work. Obviously, there's assessments, assignments, but they're done in a way where they're they're very practical. Excuse me. And um, they're meant for you to grasp the concepts and learn. So we're going to challenge you. We're going to put you in, in situation through these assignments, but you're going to see that most, in fact, all of these assignments are... Um, situations where you would, you know, you would experience those inside a role in the football industry, um, whether it's in marketing, whether it's in finance, whether it's in the performance side of football, these assignments put you in situations so you have to think as though you are someone in the leadership position, because that's what we aspire, that this master prepares you for a leadership position in football. And then finally, the last element of this, the icing on the cake is our graduation ceremony here in Barcelona, which is two days at the end of the course. It's included in the, in the tuition fee. It doesn't include your airfare and your accommodation, uh, but it includes all the visits. It includes all the workshops and some meals, including the graduation dinner. Um, so that we all meet here in Barcelona, we connect. Um, we weren't able to do this last year or the year before because of COVID. But now that things are opening up, we're uh, very, very um, excited and we're very hopeful that um, 
in fact, we're quite convinced that it's it's going to be happening uh, next summer because we're seeing that congresses and events are happening more and more. So what that's going to mean is that we're going to have three editions, three editions coming to Barcelona. So the opportunities to network are going to be huge because you're not only going to be networking with your peers this year, you're going to be networking from the ones from last year and the year before. So it's going to be a big, huge event um, where we're going to bring people from all over the world here and um, opportunity for you to build relationships, connect, and we're going to have a lot of fun. At the end of the day, it's about having fun as well. Um, and you're going to see that it's a mix between working hard, those two days, workshops, uh, challenging you guys, putting you guys in situation, taking you to the site visits, but then having fun, you know, going out, having tapas, enjoying dinner, and everybody has a real good time. And, and that's a good way to wrap up the course. So um, that's the way we finish it off. As I said, um, just from a more practical standpoint, it starts in October. So October 18th is the first day. What we do is on Mondays, we unlock content for the module so that you begin reading, you begin preparing. So you do this self review um, of the module on your own. Usually it takes two to three hours per week, sometimes less, sometimes a bit more, depending on the week. But you can manage this and you can always catch up because you have 24 7 access. You can download the presentations as well. So the PDFs you can download. And if you are, you know, on an airplane or whatever, you can download it and, and and read it. And then the live sessions on Thursdays, as I said, usually some weeks also on Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so just to keep that in mind for, for the calendar. Uh, and then, you know, we, we, we unlock those modules, as I said, on, on the Mondays, uh, whenever the module is finished, we, the following Monday, we, we unlock the next one. And then we have the live sessions, master classes and labs, um, Excuse me, the master classes and the lab sessions, which I mentioned, are the, the practical sessions to, to do the case studies as a group. Now, network. One of the things we wanted to do was not just network with the speakers, because obviously they're in the industry and they're, they're, they're great for you to connect with. But we also wanted to connect with you guys, each other um, that are doing the master's program, because many of you are already working in the football industry and we, that's a lot of value for some of the younger guys that are looking to get into the football industry. But I always say the same thing. People who are already in the industry who have years of experience, they benefit massively from the younger people on the course because the younger people on the course are consuming football in a different way. And it's important that the people with more experience understand what the new generations are you know, thinking about the industry and how they're consuming the game. So it becomes a really good mix of conversations, of relationships, of exchange of opinions and, you know, points of view, because no matter where you're at in the industry, you have an opportunity to learn from each other. So that's something we always do. I apologize. I need to take a little bit of water from here and time to time, because I have a bit of a, of, um, of the flu. So don't want to start coughing in the middle of this presentation. Um, right. So this is a map of all the students that, that, that have done courses with us at, S, at SBI. And last time we checked was 93 countries. So why do I say this? Because it's a very strong alumni community, not just the people in your cohort, but people that have done courses before. Um, I mean, this year, unfortunately, I couldn't go to the World Football Summit because I had other, other engagements. Maybe you've heard about the World Football Summit, which is a big Congress happening in Madrid. Anyway, I've gotten about 10, 12 WhatsApp messages from people connecting and saying, hey, I've met SBI, um, somebody from the SBI um, cohort from several years ago, and I'm here at the World Football Summit. So usually it's an opportunity to connect with people, um, even though they may not have done the course with you. But just the fact that you are part of the SBI alumni community, we like to call it the family, um, it allows you to open up new relationships and many times you know, people that haven't done the master together end up building very, you know, um, consolidated relationships just because they are SBI alumni that connected with each other and, you know, managed to find a point in common and, and built uh, a project to re a relationship. So um, that's important as well, the alumni community and the network. Now, one of the things we do that works super well with this master is we create a WhatsApp group with all the people on the course. And every day there's material that's shared. 
There's opinions that are coming in from people. So I'm sure all of you are members of WhatsApp groups, maybe with friends or with colleagues, etc. You've seen how agile WhatsApp is, right? You, you, you're, you're basically in contact with people in a, in a very direct way. It's not like email where it's very formal and people take longer to reply. This is agile. This is happening, you know. So why do I mention this? Because the conversation remains active beyond the live lessons which take place on Thursdays or sometimes Wednesdays or Tuesdays. So sometimes, you know, on Fridays or Mondays or on, over the weekend, people are posting stuff and connecting and it, it has two purposes. Number one, to build relationships and network from a from professional academic standpoint, but also from a personal standpoint. Sometimes people have banter. Oh, you know, you're a United fan. You know, they're playing against my team. And so in the WhatsApp group, you get the conversation flowing in a way where it becomes, you know, you get to know your peers very, very well. And I mentioned before the event in Barcelona, the overwhelming comment we get every year is, wow, I feel like I know you because, you know, we've been interacting live on WhatsApp and the classes, you know, every week. So it, it does go a long way having this group because you build relationships that are strong and that are consolidated with in a, com in a community that is very collaborative because everybody has the same objective, getting ahead in the industry. Uh, a little bit more on the network that you can expect with this master. You know, these are just a few of the logos of the organizations that we've worked with and some of the executives that have done courses with us. So again, it opens doors for you to start building relationships with people um, that are decision makers in football. And you'd be surprised how long um, um, or how far, I should say, a connection goes when you say, oh, by the way, you know, we have this point in common. We're both SBI students or, or you're an SBI guest speaker. I did the master. It just, it's a point of connection that opens the door. Um, I'm sure many of you perhaps have tried to connect with people that you want to build relationships with particularly on LinkedIn or other social platforms. And sometimes it's hard if you don't know them because you don't know what the right approach is. You don't know how to connect with them. Um, and sometimes it's difficult to find that, you know, common point. So the fact that you're already part of the SBI family, you know, really does open a lot of doors for you to start connecting with people and, and the door opens, um, you know, much, much wider when you, when you have that point in common. Um, Something that is unique as well, I should say, uh, I, I would say about the SBI master as well is, um, you know, it attracts a lot of professional footballers because of the flexibility that it offers, because of the uh, opportunity to work in an executive manner as well. So here's a few examples. I mean, we have Wes Morgan, uh, who uh, played many years at Leicester City, as you, as you probably know, those that follow the Premier League. So Wes did the course with us, the master, two years ago. Um, there you see him at the event in Barcelona. Um, now, Wes, um, obviously, very, very successful career in, in the Premier League, Premier League champion of that miraculous season with Leicester City, you know, lifting the cup. He was the captain of the club, lifting the cup. So, you know, um, Wes uh, finished the program um, because he wanted to move into a leadership position in football after his playing career. Um, and now he's, he's continuing to build on that. And um, after finishing the master, he was uh, selected as part of the non-executive board of the PFA. So he moved into a, a, a role in the PFA. Um, and part of it was also because he was preparing himself and this master helped him in, you know, achieving that particular position. And he's, he's, he's a very motivated and um, um, ambitious person. So he's aspiring for more and more roles. Um, so there's an example of somebody that, you know, obviously from football, um, did the program and was able to leverage the, the program to, you know, to take it to the next step. Matt, Matt Ritchie, who you see at the bottom, again, for those that follow the Premier League, Matt um, plays at Newcastle United. He just finished the master's program last year. Um, and again, he's still playing. He's active and, you know, he's um, from, from my latest conversation with him, he told me I still want to play, you know, several more years. So he's, he's not looking to retire anytime soon but he's preparing himself. He's preparing himself for that next step because it's going to come as a professional footballer. Obviously he knows that his career is not going to last forever, but he wants to prepare himself for what, whatever comes next after football. And of course, these are guys that have had successful careers, but um, you know, it's, it's an opportunity for them to move into those leadership positions. And for students, it's a huge opportunity because you're doing the masters with students 
that are Premier League players, or in many cases, professional players across different levels, different leagues. So that's a very different perspective that SBI offers that, you know, not a lot of programs in the market offer. Many times in, in other masters, what you get is professionals with like, like-minded backgrounds. And that's great because you have a lot of uh, experience. But when you have professional footballers, it adds a different mix. It adds a different mix because you probably know that in football, there's two main objectives, winning on the pitch and winning off the pitch. And at a football club particularly, those two areas need to work together. And in many cases, they clash. Um, so when you have someone who's on the pitch, who's in a dressing room, adding insight as to what do they feel, what do they think, and what are their, what are their thoughts, many times it opens the mind of those business professionals to think in other ways. And we've had very productive conversations where some of these players say, well, you know, we're playing a lot of matches and, you know, it's demanding a lot upon us. And, you know, on the other side, the business side is looking to generate more revenue. So it's, it's a very interesting discussion that we have week in, week out when we have professionals from the business world, from the pitch and from other corporate sectors that add value to the, the different cases that we do. One last example of another professional footballer that did the course with us recently, Troy, Troy Dini, many years at Watford. Again, for those that follow the Premier League will know who he is. Um, just recently he moved uh, to Birmingham City, but there you see him. Um, maybe you don't see it. it's a very small screenshot there, but the third, third from the bottom, that's Troy there attending the class live um, in the discussions. So again, this is what we were saying before, an opportunity to, to learn not only from your you know, guest faculty who are executives in football, but also from fellow students. Like I mentioned before, Roy, who's already enrolled, working at the Jamaican Federation. Daniele, working for um, a media agency in football that works with a lot of the top clubs. Um, Alex, professional footballer. Um, so just some of the people on this call today have so many wide backgrounds in football that if you are looking to get into the industry, you're already right away going to open a big network of people that are going to be collaborating with you on projects, assignments, and also helping each other out because that's that's the whole point of a master like this. Students coming together, helping each other out, adding value to each other, and um, you know doing doing it for for everybody. Actually, let me let me just show you a screenshot, um, um, a group, um, just so you see. Uh, one second, because I, I didn't have this planned. Uh, so let's hopefully I can find it. Um, and I I'll tell you why I'm going to, I'm just going to show you this. Here, you probably won't be able to read it all, but maybe there's glare. Anyway, this is somebody from Brazil that did the master's program, um, two years ago. And the group, the WhatsApp group is still active. Anyway, his message said, I've just, um, let me read it. Just want to tell you that I am moving to Toronto, Canada today. I will be responsible for the match hospitality at FIFA World Cup sales in Canada. I'll be more than grateful if anybody knows people in Canada. Bah, 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 bah. Um, there was a Canadian student that year. So she said, Stephanie, I'm counting on your help as you're already based in Canada. Anyway, this is two years after he finished the program. And this message just came in two days ago. The group exploded and everybody congratulating him. Ah, congratulations, Paolo. Great opportunity for you working in football. And this is his, this is his, you know, one of his big opportunities now to work in football. Um, and the, the, the group, his, his group, his classmates are, are helping him each other. I'll help, sorry, are helping him out two years after he finished. So it's a relationship that you build for a lifetime, not just for the eight months that we're together. And that's the big thing about a program such as this, that you don't want to just be here, you know, for eight months, do it, and then be on your own. You want to create those relationships and build them so that you're able to help each other out. And sometimes you'll have more help from a fellow student than, than from SBI, even though we put all the tools for you to, to help each other out. Sometimes the, the perfect match is between two students that just have the right objectives in mind, have the right, um, you know, collaboration initiatives, and, and it happens. So anyway, all this to say that it's a very collaborative environment. If you look at some of the testimonials on LinkedIn and people that have done the courses with us, they're very positive because we really take this to heart. 
we very much work hard in helping you guys along the way. We put all our effort to adding value. And we even like to say that we serve. Our mission is to serve you because that's the whole point of doing a master such as this. It's not for you to come and pay, you know, the academic fees and then do something. We are here to serve you because you are our client. Our students are our client base. And if they're not satisfied, if they're not happy, if they're not having success in the industry, it reflects negatively upon us. So we go out of our way to help each other out, to put all the tools, put all the, all the value um, for you guys, because that's what we want. We want to make sure that you, um, you know, are having opportunities, are learning, and you know, are, are taking and leveraging this master to the next opportunity. And this, this is a good segue to the next um, point, which is very important in, in the master. You will have personalized mentorship sessions, not a session such as this with people coming in and a webinar, personalized mentorship sessions. And here are the mentors that I mentioned before. Richard Lamb, executive that has experience working at Man United, Inter Milan, West Ham United, NFL. So he's going to be one of your mentors. Julie Ferre, former head of sponsorships and partnerships at FC Barcelona at a global level, commercial director at AS Monaco. Um, and the other session is with myself. Um, so my, my initial session is to sort of set the table for these two guys and we all work together. Now, why do we make them personalized? Because all of your aspirations, objectives, backgrounds um, are different um, from each other. So it would make no sense if we said, okay, here's a, here's a mentorship session for all of you guys. So what we do is we personalize it for you guys. And we do what is called a gap analysis. And that's how we create the mentorship um, document for you guys. So what is a gap analysis? It's understanding where you are at today and where you want to be. What, sorry, where do you want to be? What's your objective? Now, the objective may be six months down the road. It may be two years down the road, or it may be you know, sooner than that. We identify that based on your aspirations. And based on that, we analyze the gaps. Now, the gaps are going to be very different for all of you. Someone like Alex, who's a professional footballer, he's got a network in football. He knows people. So his gap is probably not knowing a lot of people in football because he's in the industry already. But his gap may be more around, you know, learning more about the business side. And that's what we're going to work with, with him in the mentorship session. So he optimizes and becomes a more well-rounded individual. Um, someone who comes from the corporate world, that doesn't have experience in football or, or a junior profile, well, the gaps are going to be very different because the network is a big one because they may not have that. So the mentors, what are going to be doing with you is they're going to have, be having personalized calls with you. There's going to be three calls and they're personalized. They're half an hour each. And what we do is we set out a plan for you guys to gain clarity as to where you want to go and then having the right path. And that's what I was mentioning before about mentorship and why it's so important. Because you skip a lot of the hurdles when you have people of this caliber providing you advice that have been at the highest level in football and are continuing to consult for some of these organizations. You know, you're getting information that is going to put you on the right path. And if you have an idea that maybe you think, oh, I wanted to do this, many times they'll say, well, think about that. And I wouldn't do that if I were you because of X, Y, or Z. So this is something that is a game changer for a lot of our alumni. Game, game changer. Because a lot of the programs out there in the market, and there's some fantastic programs out there. There really is. Um, but a lot of them where, where they miss that, that leg is in the mentorship. Because they prepare you, they put the network and everything. But then you're on your own. Then you got to do, after you finish the degree, okay, fly solo, you go, you're, you're on your own and, and find your opportunities. Here we're doing that while you're doing the master. We're trying to put the right uh, guidance for you so that you have an action plan that you're working on while you're doing the master and you're working towards your personal objectives. So in other words, you're learning, you're gaining the information, the knowledge, the skills, but you're putting it in an action plan that is going to be focused on your individual aspirations and career, you know, career plan. So at the end of the program, 
In fact, the final project is very much linked to your own mentorship uh, um, document. Because what we want to do is that your final project is actually working towards that objective. So you're actually putting in the work before you, before you finish the master, you're already putting the, the pieces in place to optimize your career opportunities. So this is a real, real game changer mentors that are going to be with you individually. And it's not easy. Like I said, it's, these guys have very tight agendas. They're busy all year round. They travel. So, um, having an opportunity to have a session with them individually, it really does go a long way. It really does go a long way because you can have a mentor. I mean, you can have somebody who can give you advice, but it's also important to have people of the highest level qualified who can give you advice. Um, obviously you can get this and you can read books about people who have done it, but it takes a bit of time. So that's why we packaged it all together. And that's, that's what I'm trying to summarize here. When I talk about the master, it's, it's a package. It's, it's everything that you need to optimize your opportunities to accelerate that pathway. Is it easy? Absolutely not. It's a competitive sector. It's, you know, um, opportunities are not, um, always easy to come by. So that's another element that we talk about. We give you a reality check. We tell you, this is, this is hard. You're going to have to do this. You're going to have to work in that. And it's going to take time and it's not going to happen overnight. One of the things we, we do and we work on with you is building a brand, building your own personal brand, because when you build your own personal brand, you become a more attractive candidate for the market, but that takes time. So we give you the keys, how to build that personal brand how to position yourselves so that when those opportunities are there, you're already positioned as somebody who's going to add value in the industry, but that takes time and it takes hard work. And that's why these types of professionals give you the, the reality. And they say, this is, this is how it works. And this is what I recommend that you do. And it's going to take some time and then you're going to need to put hard work, but there's also that accountability. And this is another element that's very important in the master because you may say to yourself, well, I don't know. I'm doubting about doing the program. Maybe I should think about it. And probably a lot of these things I can do on my own. And you're absolutely right. Today we have technology, we have information flowing. All the information is out there for you to do on your own. The difference is it takes a long time. It really does. It takes a long time to connect with people, build the relationships, find the right people to guide you. So here, what we do is we provide you the tools and you have that accountability. Now, why, why was I pointing to, to this element? Because if you do it on your own, what tends to happen is, okay, you start working on a project, you're motivated and you're doing it on your own. Life gets in the way. Another priority comes in and automatically you have to put that on the back burner because it's, you know, it's not, it's not something that you're going to have that accountability. You, you put it in the back burner and, and maybe, or maybe not you, you restart with that project. When you're in the master, when you're working with these mentors, you have that accountability and they're going to be saying to you, okay, let's do this. Let's work on that. And next time you speak with your next, um, you know, your next session, you should have this ready. You know, you're going to have to do it. And if life gets in the way, you're going to find the time to figure it out because you're going to say, I, I need to be, <clears throat> I need to be accountable. I need to be responsible and I need to commit to what I said I was going to do. So that goes a long way because when you do that, you start taking action, you start pushing through and you start challenging yourselves. And, um, and you know, we've all seen it. When you take action, you see results. It's like when you plant seeds, the more seeds you plant or in a, or in an analogy in football, the more shots on shots you take, one of them is bound to go in. So same thing here, you're putting the pieces, you're putting everything in place. So, um, that goes a very long way when it comes to, to the mentorships. And just to, to summarize some of the things that we do, like I said, we work on your aspirations. We look at your strengths. We look at how you can build value to the market. How do you can optimize your network, build your personal brand, et cetera. Final point. And then I want to open it up for some questions because I'm going over by, by what I said, I was going to speak here. <clears throat> this year we've, we've uh, introduced a new element, which is guaranteed internships in sports and football organizations. Yes, you read that right. Guaranteed. Now there is an additional fee and I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, it's 500 euros extra if you want to be part of the guaranteed internship program. But what we do is 
we work in collaboration with the World Football Summit, which I mentioned before. It's a, it's a congress that happens every year across the globe, and, and the main event is in Madrid every year. Anyway, what they do is they have a team that will actively look for, your, for you, um, uh, for internships for you, I should say, and they can be done in two manners, face-to-face -face or virtually. Why? Because we have many students from around the world that say, you know, I, I can't travel to Spain or England or France or wherever to do my internship. I'm based in India or in China or in Brazil or in Belgium, um, but I still, um, <laughs> wherever you are, um, and I'd like to do a, an internship, but I can't uh, travel. That's absolutely fine. What we'll do is we'll find an organization that will work with you virtually and you'll be working on projects, again, similar with using these platforms. Um, and, and the pandemic has highlighted this, how, how easy it is for everybody to be on Zoom calls, WebEx calls. Um, so you can do the, the internship virtually. And at the end of the day, it's, it's something that you can put on your CV that you can say, oh, I worked for this organization, <clears throat> excuse me. And, and you put it on your CV. Yes, it was virtual, but the main thing for you is that you, you're gonna put it on your CV and it's gonna add value to the next time you are applying for jobs or talking to people. So that's very important. And then if you wanna do it in person, <clears throat> there's two, op two options. You can do it in person in your home country or you can do it in person in a European organization. The only thing is you'll have to cover the costs <clears throat> of living expenses and, and you know being in, in the city where, where the internship may come up. Now, this is guaranteed because they will be looking for opportunities for you. At the end of the day, and this is evident, the decision to be hired as an intern is from the organization, from the club, from the federation, from the agency, et cetera. So we don't have control over that. It's an interview process, but we put you in the position to have those interviews. And eventually we will guarantee that you'll be placed. If for any reason that does not happen, you get your money refund. But from what we have so far, everybody's been placed and very happy with they, where, where they've been um, uh, given the opportunities. So this is talking about the experience that I mentioned before. So when you do the master's program, you're not just doing the master's and gaining experiences from, from the assignments and the case studies, which are very much industry oriented, but at the end of the day, they're still within the concept of the master. Here, you're gaining the experience from the internship. And that goes a long way as well, because those four elements that I mentioned before, they're covered. You build the network, you gain the knowledge, you have the mentors, and you gain the, the practical experience hands-on through an internship. Um, now, why did we make this an optional internships and an add-on? Because we already have a lot of people in the football industry, as, as, we, as I've already said, <clears throat> and some of them don't want to do an internship. And they say, well, you know, at this, at this stage in my career, I'm not looking for an internship. I'm looking to move into a leadership position and I'm looking to network. So again, this goes back to the individual profile of each and every one of our students. So if you want the option, it's there, it's an add-on, it's guaranteed. If you don't want it, absolutely fine. It's something else that we wanted to add value to you and we wanted to leave it as an option for you. We didn't want to force the internship upon you. It's a great opportunity, especially for those that are that are looking to start a career in football, but it's not an it's not a mandatory thing and you know we don't um, we don't make it a um, an obligatory part of the curriculum. Another element, huge. This master is academically backed by Florida Global University, which is located in Miami, USA. They have their campus in Florida, in Miami, USA. Now, why did we pick this partner? It was very strategic because, um, as you all know, football, soccer is growing massively in North America. So that's one element, uh, which we wanted to give our students an opportunity to have that bridge to build upon in, in the North American market. And then secondly, um, and another big factor why we wanted to have the recognition from an American university, because you probably all know from a business standpoint, from a commercial standpoint, from a marketing standpoint, in the US, they're ahead of the game over Europe and over other parts of the globe. Marketing, 
um, and, and I'm sure many of you have traveled to the US, to North America, and have attended sporting events, and you've seen how, how they're run. So we wanted to find a partner that not only gave the, the, the master that, that academic weight that you need when you're looking for, you know, for jobs and when you're looking to build up your profile, you wanted to have that university backing, um, but also, <clears throat> you know, in, in, a, in a location, in a region that is strategic. So we have the, the bridge in Spain, you know, in Europe, because in SBI, that's where our, our network is, that's where we're based. Um, our office is, in fact, you know, it's too dark to show you here tonight, but uh, I would turn around my camera where, you know, just opposite the Camp Nou. So we're very strategic in where we, where we uh, partner, where we, you know, associate. So here in Spain, here in, um, in Europe, we have a lot of contacts, we have a lot of um, opportunities, and we have some in North America as well, but a university there obviously opens many more doors, and that's why we wanted to have that for you guys, to have that backing um, in the program. Finally, the corporate tour, the, the graduation ceremony, which I mentioned before, happens every year. Um, Chris says, has to go, um, very interesting. Okay, Chris. Hope to catch up with you. If you have any questions, just get in touch with us, okay? Um, the corporate tour, uh, yeah, it's happening every year. Obviously, with COVID, we have to postpone it. But you see here, people are happy. People are having fun um, because that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that we put a two-day event where you guys are connecting, you're you're learning, you're you know challenging yourselves, but also having fun, enjoying it. And um, you know, they say a picture paints a thousand words. This um, this shows you people are happy, people are satisfied, and enjoying their their experience with us. <clears throat> so this is a more formal picture. We go to Media Pro, which is one of the biggest um, uh, media companies in the world, especially for TV rights for football. Um, so we take you there. They give you a presentation. We go inside FC Barcelona. We go to Espanol. We go to the other visits. So it's a really cool event. Um, and the last thing that I wanted to do was, was just show you a, um, a little bit on student testimonials and tell you a little bit of my story before opening it up for, for questions. And I know I've run over time here and I apologize for that. It's just, I wanted to make sure I, I landed all the points that um, we're gonna be giving you all the information because that's, at the end of the day, that's my objective today. My objective is to give you all the facts so that you have um, you know, time to reflect and make your decision. That's, that's what we're here for, give you all the facts. And if this program is not the right program from you, that's absolutely fine because there's many other options in the market, fantastic schools that perhaps are better fitted for your particular aspirations. Um, so what we wanted to do here is give you all the facts um, for, so that you have an opportunity to, you know, to think about it and make your decision. There's, there's about a month left before we start. Right. So this is somebody who was already in the industry, Ruth. Um, she says, I would definitely recommend it. In my, in my case, I was currently already working in the industry. It's also very valuable for those seeking a job um, in football as you learn loads, 100% recommended. So this is somebody who was already in the industry, um, working at Charlton Athletic, previously at Arsenal. And she did this course because she wanted to move into a more senior position at the club at Charlton Athletic. So there's her testimonial. That's someone from the industry. But I also wanted to give you an, an example of somebody that came from a corporate um, position. So this is Antonio who works for Vodafone. And he says, it's the best option if you're looking to understand the business of side of football. The course has extended my network and allowed me to grow professionally. He's already collaborating on a number of projects. And last time I checked, he was also, you know, he's originally from Cadiz. He was pitching a project to Cadiz Football Club. So um, again, looking to continue to grow and build on the experience and the relationships he built in the master. And then Wes, who I already mentioned, Wes Morgan, um, studying a master's at Sports Business Institute allowed me to gain a full understanding on the business side of football. In many ways, it had opened my eyes into the sector that I work in as a professional. They are top professionals that are well connected in the sports industry. So, I mean, obviously for us, it's huge. Somebody like Wes gives us this opportunity. Uh, sorry, sorry, this testimonial. Um, you know, we, we very much appreciate someone of his, you know, caliber and, and um, you know, relevance. Um, to say such positive things about the masters and what he gained from it. And like I said, he's already moved into a, uh, a role at the PFA on the back of this masters. And of course his experience and his network. 
Um, so there's a few testimonials. And the last thing I'll do is just sharing a little bit of my story. And I don't want to bore you here with my story because that's not what we're here for. We're here for you. But I do want to tell you this. Um, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, I was not involved in football at all. I was in the corporate world. Football was always my passion. Um, I had no contacts. I knew nobody in football. And this is a true story. Um, I had absolutely no connections, no experience. Um, and I knew that I, I had to find a way to work with football organizations, to work with football players, um, because that was my passion. I didn't know how I was going to do it. And the way I was doing it was the wrong way because I was not, um, you know, looking at my gaps. I was not being self-reflective of where I was and what I needed to do. So what I started doing was I started sending my application, my CV to a lot of clubs, to a lot of, you know, uh, federations, et cetera. And I was getting rejected and I felt, Hmm, I know I could do something in football, but I'm just not, I'm not, I'm just not getting the right approach. So I went on and did a master's myself and did a master's in sports management here in Barcelona about 12 years ago. Now I met a lot of people. It was very interesting. And then off the back of that master, I thought hmm, it was very interesting. I, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't what I really wanted. So that's when the idea clicked for me. And I said, that's my role. And that's how I can add value to the industry by starting the Sports Business Institute Barcelona, an institute that allows people to grow, to develop themselves, to get into the football industry. And initially at SBI and myself personally, you know, we didn't have the contacts. It was difficult to build the relationships. Now we work with a lot of clubs. You see a lot of the people that come to the masters are already working in football. And, and we're very proud of that. And I myself, I'm very proud of that. But just to tell you that it's, it's not impossible if you've not had any contacts or any experience in football. You just have to find your niche. You have to find your path. You have to find your motivation. And once you find all those boxes that you start ticking and, and like, uh, who was this Steve jobs that says, once you connect the dots, you're going to find the path that is going to lead you to where you want to be. Now, a lot of times now that I work with many professionals in football and I'm, you know, for me, it's a great motivation because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to work. And in this position where I was, you know, engaging with, with people in the industry. And I'm, I'm very happy that I've been able to do that. And it's not just me. It's been my team at SBI um, and the people that uh, have helped us grow. A lot of the speakers, collaborators that are now our friends and, um, you know, we build relationships with them. But what I, what I basically wanted to share with you guys is, especially for those that are not from the industry, is it's not impossible. It's not easy. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes hard work. It takes determination. It takes patience. And some days you're going to think I'm going to throw the towel because it's very difficult. It's very competitive and I'm not getting results. And I can tell you from personal experience, I was there and I almost threw the towel, but I found my path and my path was education. It was building upon my strengths. I was already working in corporate training. I was already doing courses, just not in football and sports, but I found a way to leverage those skills and build them in a way where it would add value to the football industry. And like everybody, I learn and I continue to develop myself and, and I, I continue to learn about the industry. And that's why I enjoy doing what I do because I keep up to date at, as to what's happening in the industry. Um, so that's my story. And I, I felt it was interesting for you guys to, to understand it. Um, because it's, it's, um, it doesn't mean that because you don't have any connections and any experience or any, you know, relevance in the industry today that you won't get it down the road. And, um, and we're very happy and we're super proud of, of the Institute that we have today. Um, and next year is going to be our 10 year anniversary. And, and we're, we're very, very excited. And we're, in fact, we're, we're starting a new program next year, uh, which we're going to unveil very soon, a uh, huge, huge project, which uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys will, will be interested to know about, but anyway, we'll unveil that in due course. Um, anyway, uh, but. Just wanted to share that with you guys about my story. Here's the details. You guys have seen um, everything now, what it takes um, uh, to be involved in this course. Uh, you can go to our website. There's the information there in the page for the master in football business management. 
obviously, if you want to secure your spot, there's the information there, what you need to do to apply. Uh, but today was this. Um, today was the objective to give you all the facts, to give you all the information, and then to turn it over for your questions. So if anybody has any questions um, that they'd like to, you know, put on the table, uh, let's take them now. Let's um, let's address them because I'm here for you guys. And I've ranted and uh, talked for about over an hour now. So I want to just turn it over to you guys to see if you have any questions about uh, the program itself. Um, what happens um, once you do the master and uh, what happens after you do it. Daniele, Daniele says, what happens if I miss a session? Great question, Daniele. Thank you. And I didn't mention this. All the sessions are recorded. So the advantage of this flexible learning style is that if for any reason you can't make it, the session is recorded. You go, you log into the online campus, you watch the session afterwards and you catch up. So absolutely no issue. Um, and that's why it's very flexible for people with tight agendas like yourself, Daniel, that are traveling between Germany and Italy and other parts of Europe. Um, and if you miss a session, all you need to do is just go click and, uh, and you'll watch the replay and you'll be, you'll be ready. Um, what do the internships generally involve says Jack? Good question, Jack. So it depends. Um, all internships are a bit different because as you can imagine, all companies, all clubs, all federations, all agencies are different one from another. So it depends what they may be looking for, but basically it can be, you can either be in, in the, in the office, uh, face to face doing the, the internship, or it can be more project based. So they may be, if you're placed in an organization, they may say to you, okay, we have a couple of these projects that we want you to work in. Um, so here they are, and we'll catch up with you in, you know, three or four days. So you'll have another meeting in three or four days and, and, and you'll go through, um, whatever the project it is that you're involved in. So th does that make sense? Jack, uh, let me, let me see if, um, if I can bring you on Jack and you can, um, uh, we can unmute you. I'm going to try and see if I can do that here. One second. Yeah, there we go. So Jack, I'm going to unmute you. And hopefully you can uh, put your mic on. And if that's the case, oh, maybe I can't do that. Perhaps it's not possible tonight because it's the webinar. Is that right? You can't unmute Jack. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try and unmute you, Jack. And if not, um, just let us know if I answered your question, um, because that's that's what we want. We want to make sure that it's all clear. So um, yeah, but anyway, just talking a little bit more. Internships can be anywhere in duration from three to six months. Um, they are opportunities for you to be placed in different organizations, and they can be in your home country or abroad. And again. If you want to do it abroad, you can travel and you can, you know, be living in the city, but you're going to have to cover your own living expenses. If you want to do it virtually, the options there. Uh, Gracia says, I have to leave as well. Thank you for the session, Diego. Great information. Thank you, Gracia. Hope you're, um, hope you're doing well and, um, look forward to connecting with you again. I don't actually have a mic right now. Oh, okay. Okay. So you unpacked and moved recently, Jack. Okay, cool. No worries. Then that's why we couldn't unmute you. Okay, that's why he didn't unmute. Right. Okay. So just talking here to the team because usually we're able to unmute people. Uh, right. So thank you, Gracia. Right. Do we have any more questions before um, before we wrap up, um, Luca? Would it be possible to chat with any alumni to get their personal take on the program? Absolutely, Luca. Let me bring you on, Luca. Because I'm going to try and see if we can get you to tell us a little bit about what you do and who you are. Luca, let's see. Let's give this a shot. There we go. Luca, are you there? Can you hear us? Hi, Luca. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we got your sound. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. How are you? Thank you very much for the presentation. It was great. Very interesting. Great. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Luca. Thank you. So, um, yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, what are you doing now? What are your aspirations and, um, and, and specifically about your question as well? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm connected from London. Um, I come from a completely different background. Um, I've been working for the past four years in finance and, you know, I'm quite interested in football um, uh, personally. Um, so I just wanted to learn more about the program. And the reason for my question was um, simply because I'd like to understand from alumni who changed their career path uh, coming from a different background, uh, what's their take on the course, how that helped them to, to switch into football and so on and so forth. So that's the reason of my question. Okay, good. Yeah, no, absolutely. What we'll do is we'll have our team contact you and try to find someone who, who fits that specific profile so that you're able to talk to somebody who's, you know, who's managed to, to leverage the program and, and you know, move on to um, the sector from another part of the, the corporate world, if you will. Um, good. And what would you like to do, Luca? Would you like to stay in finance or would you like to you know, move into another area or? Well, um, are you are you asking about financing football or finance generally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you move into the industry in football, would you want to remain in in the finance sector, or are you open to other other you know other areas, or what what would be um, your aspiration? I'm quite open, uh, to be honest, to other areas. Um, it's more about getting um, you know a uh, my foot through the door to the football industry, and then obviously. Um, it's really about uh, learning as much as I can, um, and then we'll take it from there. Obviously, I can okay. leverage my background, um, my finance background, uh, but I'm quite open to everything. Okay, so you'll be open to other areas, and yeah, okay. Yeah, good. No, we'll, we'll definitely put you in touch. There's a couple of people that come to mind, but I want to find the right profile for you to, to talk to and you know learn about what was their experience and how they benefited from the course. Um, <clears throat> And, and how the mentorship session particularly uh, has helped people on the right path and start, you know, building towards a career where they want to be. So um, we'll um, we'll connect with you, Luca. We'll uh, we'll send you a message, and um, and you can then let us know um, if um, you know if you'd like to speak to someone. We'll we'll put you in touch. Does that sound okay? Cool. Um, good. So I think that's good for Luca. Thank you for your question, Luca. Um, the other thing that I, I didn't mention, in fact, was the fees. So the fees are 6,500 euros. So it's an investment and, uh, let's face it, it's, 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 it's money and it's, it's, it's something that you have to think about very seriously. And I always say the same thing, make sure it's the right time for you. Make sure it's the right family time, economic time, work time, because if it isn't, you know, it's, it's not, it's not, a, it's not the best investment for you. So timing is important. That said, it's a very flexible program that you can do in parallel with your work <clears throat> and with other commitments because you don't have to be, you know, uh, committed in a way where, you know, you would have in, in other programs where, where you have to be there, um, you know, more often and, and more, more, um, and more committed face to face, if you will. Um, right now, why do I mention this? Because yes, the fee is 6,500 euros, which is an investment, but. If you compare with other programs in the market, it's very competitively priced, considering that if you also compare many of our guest faculty, um, they also um, deliver sessions in some of these other programs that are much more expensive that are in the market. Um, obviously, they're very different. And I always say that the, mar the programs in the market, they're all very good. They are you know, excellent. Uh, I've hardly come across any programs out there that are, that are, you know, that are, uh, you know, negative or that are just, um, not wanting the best for their students. Um, but, you know, just as an investment, if you do a little bit of benchmarking and comparison, it is quite compared, uh, com competitively priced, I should say. Um, right. Okay. Well, thanks, Luca. Um, we'll get back to you with, um, with your, um, with your request about uh, talking to an alumni. So we'll, we'll have our team uh, connect with you. And if you want to send us an email just to, to let us know um, about that, we'll be, we'll be more than happy to, you know, to make that happen for you. Right. Uh, okay. I think we have another question. Let me just check. Mm -hmm. So we had Luca, sorry, Luca. I accidentally muted myself. 
Uh, Mark has to leave. Okay, thanks, Mark. Kevin had to leave as well. Okay, so we're starting to have few people have to, to disconnect and I'm sorry, I know I've, uh, I've gone over the time. Um, Antonio, Antonio has a question. So Antonio, let me unmute you and, and we'll wrap it up with you because I know we're um, we're going over the time that, um, that I mentioned we were gonna spend tonight. So Antonio, let me bring you on. And I think uh, we've already spoken, Antonio, if I'm not mistaken. So let me just bring you on here, Antonio. Mm -hmm. Antonio, there we go. I've requested you're on mute. Um, so hopefully you can unmute yourself. There we go. Hi, Antonio. Go ahead, Antonio. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, again, Antonio from Maputo, Mozambique. So um, I get a few points about in your in your message a few minutes ago regarding when the very important points that you mentioned. Obviously, one of the things is the, the personal decision, and uh, we must know that we, it's not easy, it's not impossible, but not impossible. Mm -hmm. We need to dedicate. But one of the one of the things that I think we can we can um, maximize is um, passion. As yes. we know, I think uh, a lot of people or many people who are working in football industry, they are linked with the passion in the football. Mm -hmm. So the passion can make the things easy. So will help us to, to this to decide, and after our decision to be dedicated and to finish this. Uh, course on my side. Um, before everything, uh, I was uh, now I'm a bank man. I'm a, I'm a bank office. I'm a branch manager, but I am linked with the football because I grew up playing football, um, studying and playing football. And when I stopped to play um, official football, I stopped it because of the job. So after that, I found another way to stay in football. Doing what? Mm -hmm. I'm a football commentator on radio and TV now in my country, local okay. and international. Okay. I'm doing my personal uh, project. I'm taking my personal project, uh, opening uh, academies and uh, mm -hmm. uh, presenting some uh, um, football product and service. That's why I'm interested in to be more involved and to know and to learn more about the uh, football industry. Because in my view, there is a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. But as you mentioned, it's very important to start and to understand more. If when I, I, I watch a game in the TV, for example, on, on World Trafford, yeah, maybe maybe the, 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 the main things that the people and the, around the world are, are, are watching that moment is a is a game. Yeah, but in, yeah. Just I think around the game, around the ring, there is a lot of opportunities. Merchandising communication and everything. So Perfect. that's why I'm, I'm interested in to, to learn more and to explain the all kind of things that the football, one game of football game can give us. Because the game is the is the, is the party, but before that party, we need to organize a lot of things. Yeah. All yep. people involved, they're making money. They're making um, a lot of opportunities for other people. So yes. this is no. my question. Good point. So my question for you is about the passion. How the passion can, the passion in the football can help us to make the things easy. Very good question. That's a huge, huge motivator. Huge, because you know, if you have to do work, sometimes you have to push yourself, right? Oh man, you gotta push yourself. Oh, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. That gotta do that. But if it's something you enjoy, if it's something you like, it pulls you, it pulls you. you you're, you're wanting to do it and you want to learn more and you want to find out more. And, and that's what happens when you do this course that, you know, you learn something and then it opens your eyes and you think, oh, wow, I could think about this and I hadn't thought about that. And maybe there's an opportunity there and I'm, I'm going to find out more about it. So passion is huge because it, it allows you to, um, you know, to really um, continue working and and it pulls you because it's something that you enjoy doing so that's a that's a huge motivator that um again 
If you have to do this in other sectors or other work, perhaps you do it because you need to. But in many cases here, you're doing it because you're, you're passionate about it and you want to learn more about it. And, and it goes a very, good, very long way. So yes, definitely passion is a huge, huge motivator that, that allows you to continue to build on. That's another good point that, 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 that I just wanted to highlight there. It's um, right now, we could probably look at 10% of the opportunities. I mean, you and I, all of you here, the, the, the people that remain on the call, um, 10%. Where's that other 90%? I don't know. You don't know. It's once we begin on that journey together, that's when it's untapped. That's when the potential begins to grow because things happen throughout the year. You know, you, you connect with people, opportunities come up, conversations that spark ideas um, around, you know, the, the work that we're doing. And that's when, you know, to sound a little bit cheesy, that's when the magic happens because that's when the potential begins to get unlocked. Right now, we can talk about, yes, you could go down this avenue or this pathway, but the reality is until you start the machine rolling, that's when you start seeing the results. And, and we've seen it time and time again. It's, it's, um, it's something that, um, you know, we can tell you the keys. I, I mentioned those four keys to get ahead and, and we can tell you what those are, but how that potential unlocks for each and every one of you, that's only going to happen when, when we begin working together. And that's why we say it's a transformational journey because we start working with you. We start putting you in touch with people. You start connecting, you start gaining ideas. And there's people that start off the course and, and many, you know, especially more junior profiles, they want to start as agents and they say, oh, I want to do this master because I want to move into a role of a, as a football agent. And then as they do the course, you know, they, they move on and, and think about another area and not just agents. I mean, some people are, are thinking like, uh, Luca was saying before, maybe, you know, I'm, I'm looking to move into more on the finance side to leverage my skills, but as you start doing the course, maybe you find that, Hey, there's an opportunity now with, I don't know, uh, tokens, fan tokens. And there's a, there's an opportunity there. I can, that I can, you know, double down on because that's where the, that's where the, the trend is taking the industry now. So, you know, you won't know that until you start putting the, 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 the work in. Um, and obviously that's, that's something that, um, that takes time, but, um, but like Antonio said, when, with that passion, you're able to drive through. Right. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to go too, uh, too much longer here, but I saw another question from Kofi, um, as well. So Kofi said about the partnership in the U S I think it was. So Kofi, let me bring you on and we'll finish off with you. Okay. So hopefully you can, you can, um, unmute your microphone. So one second. There, I've requested you're on mute, Kofi, and let me know if you can speak. Okay, maybe we're not, we're not getting Kofi sound. Maybe uh, we're not doing. Okay, doesn't look like uh, we can get your mic unmuted, Kofi. Maybe it's uh, something on your end, or maybe it's just something on the platform here on our side. But nonetheless. Um, just to highlight again, the point about the university in the United States. Yes, it's uh, Florida global university based out of Miami. And the reason that we partnered with them is because we wanted to give the, the, the master, the academic weight backing from a university that would allow you to have not just the, the, the industry oriented master's degree, but also <clears throat> have the academic seal of approval. So actually the diploma, when you finish has the two logos, the university logo and our logo. It's going to be signed by both directors <clears throat> because, um, you know, we understand, we understand in the market out there, um, obviously people will look for the, the, the whole, the whole package. They're not just going to look at the piece of paper. They're going to look at your skills. They're going to look at your attitude. They're going to look at your experience. Yeah, but we all know this, but of course, Having an academic certificate adds a lot of weight. So the fact that it is linked to a university, you know, does go a long way. And the fact that it's in the U S you know, we wanted to, to open doors in that market for our students because it is an emerging market in football, you know, and, and as far as sports marketing and business is concerned, <clears throat> you know, in the U S obviously it's a, it's a very important market. So hopefully that answers your question, Kofi. 
Um, right. Well, just to finish off then, guys, um, thank you for your time. Um, time is a, is a very valuable asset, as we all know. And you guys have spent it here with me tonight. Hopefully, you've gotten information. You've gotten the facts about our course. Um, we'd encourage you to join the SBI family uh, because it is a family and it's not just you taking part in the course. You then remain connected with us throughout. If you want to contact us, there's our details, but you guys have all our emails. You're in our newsletters. Just send us an email. Let us know if we can help you in any way. We'll either set up a call with you or answer any questions via email or you know, WhatsApp, whatever you want. And we'll take it from there if you want to learn more. There's about a month left, a little bit less than a month now. Um, you have time if you want to enroll, apply. And uh, if you do, we're going to be here for you. That's something that we guarantee that we're going to guarantee for you. We're going to work. We're going to work on your team. Um, like I always say, you know, um, you know, you look at the great athletes, Ronaldo, Nadal, um, Federer, all these guys, they have a team around them that supports them. Obviously, they're the talent. They're the guys that are performing. But Ronaldo has a nutritionist, an agent, a publicist, you know, Federer, same thing, you know, coach, et cetera. So that's what we want to create for you guys here. We want to create a team where we're going to give you the tools. We're going to give you the support so that you're not navigating on, uh, on the, the, the ocean on your own. You're, you're in that same vessel with a team that's going to help you along the way and optimize those opportunities for you. So that's what we're here for. Thanks guys for, uh, for your time tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, Jack says, thank you. Thank you, Jack. It's uh, me that has to thank you for sticking, uh, sticking around for us uh, and, and hearing about what we have to say. Dario, Dario. Thank you, Dario. Um, great to have you here tonight. And uh, to everybody else that was here before, Alex, see you, see you very soon, Alex. Um, by the way, everybody that's already registered, you guys are going to get all the details. This is more of an informative session for people that are still, you know, maybe considering it. But for those of you that are registered already, you're going to get all the details. You're going to get all the instructions. You're going to get the, the confirmed calendar. So, um, that's coming your way very soon. And, uh, you know, uh, just a, a few days before the start date, and that's that's when you're going to get all the information. But as long as you plan for Thursday nights to be ready and uh, and prepared for attending, the rest is is going to be flexible for you to to work around your schedules. Uh, right. Thank you, Luca. We're going to be in touch. Uh, send us an email if you want, just to to remind our team that um, that you want us to, to you know to, to do that connection for you, and um, and uh, we'll keep in touch. Uh, you guys can follow us on all our social media, which is SBI underscore Barcelona. We're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on LinkedIn, Facebook. Uh, find us, follow us, get in touch with us. And um, if you think this master is the right opportunity for you, get in touch with us. We'd love to speak to you. All the best, everybody. Uh, sending you uh, my best regards from Barcelona, wherever you are in the world. Good night.